On our way to Jakarta, we knew we had to stop by the historic city of Bandung. But we only had limited time here, so we decided to check out the local food scene. One thing we have been dying to try since arriving in Indonesia is martabak manis, a decadent pancake-like dessert that, well, you're just gonna have to wait till the end of the video to find out. Let's go get some noodles. We're heading to a place called Linggar Jardi Noodle, which is something that we've heard you absolutely cannot miss when you are in this city, so we're not gonna miss it. Apparently the thing to try is mi yamen, which is a traditional Chinese style yellow wheat noodle chicken broth typically, like in a soup. Ashley got mi ayam and I got mi baso. But the secret trick here is that you have to get the iced avocado drink. So it's called es al Phuket and we got two of those as well. We saw this place online and we knew we had to come here when I found out there was an avocado drink that I could pair with noodles. <laughs> That's a true story, like I couldn't have said it better myself. I love that since we've been traveling in Southeast Asia, noodles have become breakfast for us. That's something that I would have never imagined, but now the thought of eating like something so sweet and heavy in the morning, like waffles or pancakes. Oh man, look at that. It just feels not right. This looks delicious. I wonder what the brown stuff is. It's so fast. Because <laughs> so I put my meat ayam yamen noodles and I got the menace, which means sweet. They look really good. They've got a lot of that sweet soy sauce, some ground chicken, green onions, and then I've got a side of chicken broth. So I'm not sure if I'm supposed to put this in here and kind of mix it all up or how that works, but I figure I'll try the noodles first and then I'll see what my preference is. This looks really yummy. And very hot. All right, let's try these out. Mm, these are good. I can understand why it's compared to like an American chicken noodle soup, kind of. The tastes are sort of similar, which is weird because there's soy sauce in here. But it does, it reminds me of like a chicken noodle soup. And I imagine once I add this broth to it, it's gonna taste even more so. But this is amazing. Let me try. S. Al Phuket, and I like both of those things, especially on a hot day. I'm not sure what the brown syrup is, but we'll go ahead and mix this all in and give it a try. Oh my god. <laughs> mm. That is so sweet and so delicious. Wow, that is so good. And I have no doubt I'm gonna like this. I love chicken broth. Mm. Oh wow, that's so flavorful. That is delicious. Mm. This, this is one of my favorite meals in all of Indonesia. It's not spicy, and I typically love a spicy food, but this is just such a like such a comfort food. This is amazing. So I got me baso yamen, which is gonna be baso, which is these little meatballs here. And then I opted for mine to be yasin, which means salty or savory. So mine looks a lot different than Ashley's. Ashley's has this like lovely, rich, saucy color to it. My noodles are a little bit dry because they don't have the sauce. So I definitely am gonna add some of the broth. And we're also gonna try this meatball. This is Indonesian comfort food at its finest. I have to imagine this is palm sugar on top. Probably. Oh my god, it smells so good. It smells like it's got banana in it. <laughs> that is incredible. I could just have this every day forever, and I think I'd like live a happy life for the rest of my days. <laughs> 
So one of the cool things about this restaurant is it has been around since 1950 and the recipe has not changed since then. Not only that, the noodles are all made in house. So this is a really authentic local experience and it's famous for a reason. It was really, really good and I'm happy that we stopped by here. We're the only Westerners and it's pretty much a packed house at this point. So that's how you know it's good. We're gonna go explore some more, find some more food. I just finished my avocado smoothie, which makes me really, really sad because I kind of want another one. We almost went to like this really popular coffee shop to have breakfast and I'm so glad we didn't because this is definitely the way we like to travel. After our noodles, we took a rest at Gadung Sate. Once, it was the Grand Dutch Administration Building in the 1920s. Now it serves as a museum and West Java's government building. Not to mention a popular place for photos. We took a midday break to relax, but now it's time for dinner and we found the perfect place. We are here at Sudirman Street. We're super excited because there are a ton of food stalls here and we're gonna try some new things that we haven't had before, so it should be fun. Way bigger than I thought. This is cool. Good call, baby. Yeah, I'm been, happy I found this. You've been killing it with Why the pitch today. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah. I think we finally found the part of Van Dung that we were looking for. Yeah. Today we were struggling a little bit because we were wandering around Braga Street, which is supposed to be kind of like the central hub. And maybe it was the time of day that we were there, or maybe it was just, I don't know, maybe things kind of got hit really hard by COVID, but it didn't really seem like there was a lot going on. There was a couple cafes, a couple shops, a mall, and that's about it. So really, really excited we found this part of town because yeah. we're gonna eat some good food, I think. All of the smells are just amazing. And I'm secretly fighting the urge really hard to get mango sticky rice, but we're not in Thailand. We should try something regional. So when we say we're holding out for a very specific dessert here in Indonesia, we've heard so much about this, but have held off trying it. It's called martabak, and apparently it's like the best thing that they make here. So maybe we're gonna go check that out, but we need something savory first, something anis. Hello. One of the best. Oh, one of the best? Cool. You like pork? Yeah. yeah, yeah. We have a crispy one, and this is nice. Okay. okay. Several you should try it. Okay. Where are you from, guys? America. Yeah, American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. You should try it. I really recommend it. Nice. Okay. Which one do you like better, the nasi babi wuku or the chakalang? Uh, actually, we would like to recommend this one. This one? Okay. Yeah. This yeah. one is our one of our signature dishes. Okay. Yeah. And it can be spicy. Of course. Okay. You can add it more if yeah. you want it. Yeah, yeah. Sounds good, let's do it. Yeah, one. Yeah. Nasi babi, so I know babi is pork, I know nasi is rice. I don't know what woku means. Yeah. Woku means, uh, what is it like? Spices from Manado. Manado, oh. Manado is, do you know Bunaken? Uh-uh, no. <laughs> no. Uh, do you know North Sulawesi? North oh, Sulawesi, oh yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, North yeah. Sulawesi, there yeah. is a city named Manado, and it's like uh, the special spices from Manado. Oh, okay. Oh, cool, okay. Yeah, that'll awesome. be good. Awesome, thank you. This has come recommended by people who are eating it right now. It's gonna be very good. It's a Sulawesi special dish from Manado. This night market's a good vibe. Yeah, I'm really happy we found this. I wasn't 100% sold on Bandung just yet, like, because everything was closed earlier, but this is, this is a cool spot. We're definitely gonna try some Martabak, I think. I found yeah. the right place. As long as that place is open, we're gonna try it. It looked so good and there were so many people Oh my god. He was putting like the toppings or the ingredients inside the pancake and he was doing it with such care and precision. He's gotta be the guy we go to. Looks amazing. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, bisa Besides the uh, spicy on this, we have also like this chili. This one chilies and this one is kind of sambal. Yeah. Okay. We have uh, so we have two kinds of sambal. Also. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Looks so good. Oh, it smells amazing. Yeah. It does. And it's got our greens that we like. I'm very excited. And look at this. It comes presented in a little half bamboo. <gasps> boat with a banana leaf. It smells like the best part of all the Bobby Gooling that we've had. Ooh, good. Yeah. All right, I'm 
so excited to see it. So I'm just gonna try this piece of pork on its own. Wow, it's so good. It's so flavorful. It's definitely got kaffir lime in it, so it has that kind of really bright citrusy flavor. And the heat takes a second to kick in, but let's build a little bite here. Okay. Look at that bite right there. Mm. It is so good. Wow. Adding the greens and the rice and the pork all together. It's just this incredibly savory bite all in one. And then after everything finishes, the spice starts to build. That is incredible. I wanna try these chilies. <laughs> Those are nice and hot. And then this is a sambal, he said. It's so fresh. This has to go on here. Cause this is very rich and very flavorful. Adding this will add some nice acidity to it. This. It was an awesome recommendation. Enjoy, guys. Hey, thank you so much. Awesome recommendation. It's so good. This is incredible. We should order a second one because you're not getting any of this. <laughs> yes, I am. This looks amazing. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is so good. Wow. I don't even have words. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna try it with one of these spicy chilies here. And the greens are amazing. I think these are papaya leaves, but I'm not 100% positive. It could be green kale. It could be something else entirely, but it's very good. Definitely check this place out if you can. He just opened a couple of months ago and this is up there with the top dishes that we've had. It's really, really good. Okay, so I can't get over <laughs> how sweet this guy is. He just brought us over two little uh, cinnamon cakes. Oh my gosh, and they're so warm. Oh. Mm. Very hot. <laughs> So it was so cute. Uh, the guy's dad came out from the back and he was like, chuchur, chuchur, and we weren't sure what he was saying. Apparently that's the name of the dessert that they gave us. So that is just literally, I think, one of the best experiences that we've had in Indonesia. The entire family was so nice. These other vendors got a lot to live up to. <laughs> <laughs> Way too much food. Sure did. What's it called? Teku. 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 It says pronounced T, and then this thing that I don't know what that is, and then A K W E. Takwe. 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 I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, we'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> yeah. Basically, what this is, it's, it's a fried dough, and it's commonly eaten for breakfast in Indonesia. It looks like we fat some chili sauce, and then another chili sauce, maybe. I think this is gonna be delicious. All right. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> It's so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've been messing up. We've just been eating noodles for breakfast, mm -hmm. which I thought was a solid way to go, but I could have been eating fried dough. It is a solid breakfast, but yeah, this is another. Oh. You tried that already? Mm hmm. It's completely different. different. Texture. Yeah. It's like this one's doughier, mm -hmm. the other one's flakier. Mm -hmm. this I think one. I prefer the first one. I like both of them. But yeah. I think I prefer the first. Here's the big one. Look at that golden one. This is the one he did the freshest. Yeah. So, all right. Nope. Mm. Mm. That's the best one. Mm. I disagree. <laughs> I like this chili sauce the mm -hmm. best and this texture the best. So this one, it was one mm. piece and he just cut strips into it and then fried it. The other one he cut into bits and then fried it. So it's like crispier all around. And then this one was big and long and it got fried and then cut up after it was fried. I'm so full, if I'm being honest. 
I think the Marta box is going to be too much stuff. I kind of think we should do it in our next video. I disagree. I think we should try it right now. All right, we're going to discuss the Marta box scenario. I think I won. I think we're getting it. I don't know. Maybe we go. We could have hesitated and waited too long. We're gonna find out. Yeah. Still open? Yes. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah. 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 Um, do you like chocolate? Yeah. What's the best? Yeah. I I buy uh, half chocolate and half cheese. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. Yeah, sounds really good. You want? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you want the chocolate with the peanut? Uh, sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Bikin dua, 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 dua. Sama, sama ini aja. Terima kasih, thank you. So we're in luck, they're open, and by the recommendation of one of the gentlemen here, we decided to get half chocolate and nuts and half cheese so that we can try two different varieties. And he's making it fresh and we're very, very excited. It smells delicious over here. We've got our martabak in hand. It was 105,000 rupiah, and wow, it is heavy. Here, you hold that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we so, can't eat this, we're gonna eat so much meat. Oh, I know, it's already happening. And yeah. right as soon as we got the martabak, it started raining. <laughs> so an hour stuck here. <laughs> yeah. At least we're under cover, which is great. I wish you could like, feel this. This has got away At least two pounds. That's crazy. Well, I think we're gonna definitely have snack for tomorrow, because if we eat all of this tonight, we might not wake up. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, yeah. let's do this. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna do it. Ooh, this looks amazing. Oh, and he cut it up for us? Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is so heavy, I can't believe it. Oh my god. It smells so good. I have heard so much hype about this dessert. I'm so excited. I kind of expect that it's gonna taste like a pancake, but I hope it's the best pancake I've ever had in my life. There's so much butter on this thing, oh my gosh. Yeah, it is ridiculous. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try the cheese first. This is just loaded with cheese and butter. Delicious. That is insane how much, like how heavy it is. This is the best pancake type dessert, breakfast, snack, whatever I have ever had. Mm. It's salty from the cheese. It's got a nice sweetness to it. It's so dense and it is so, so delicious. We're never gonna finish this. <laughs> Let me try the chocolate one. Can you see my hands? This is not diet friendly food, but that's okay. Oh man, look at that. There is so much chocolate, so many peanuts, and so much butter. Okay. Mmm, oh my God. <laughs> Tastes like a Snickers bar. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. They're both completely different, and I like them equally. Actually, no. I think I like the the chocolate with the peanuts just a little bit more, but the one with the cheese is so salty and so delicious in its own way. I love this. 
Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna keep eating. Mmm, <laughs> it's literally dripping down my hand. <laughs> that is insane. Who created this? I don't know. I've heard it's a national treasure. It is, I see why. Like, when would you eat this? When are you like, oh, I'm just gonna have the heaviest dessert ever created? I feel like this should be like a once in a lifetime like celebration, you know? Mmm. <laughs> I've gained five pounds already, I know it. You wanna try it? Yeah. You're gonna have to film yourself because they never give us any napkins. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Wow. That is like the most incredible thing I've ever eaten. Yep. I don't think I've ever had a better dessert. Nope. Like <laughs> anywhere. Sorry, mango sticky rice. Sorry, tiramisu. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, marquesitas. Like, wow. <laughs> this is just so many amazing flavors. Mm. It's literally getting all over my hands. Look at this. There's nothing I can do, it's impossible. There's nothing I'm gonna say that Ashley didn't already say, but it is. The texture on the pancake is something else. I've never had anything like that before. It's cause he whips it. He was like literally like whipping it so much to get it so fluffy. I can only imagine that this chocolate peanut one is even better. <laughs> yeah. What? It's perfectly sweet, as dense as it is. If it was any sweeter, it would be damaging to the flavor, to my body, to my soul. So decadent. Mm. This is hands down the most incredible dessert I've ever had in my life, period. Sorry, Nana. I'm so glad we waited till the end of our Indonesia <laughs> trip to try this for the first time because I'd probably order it once or twice a week and I would, there'd be no way that I'd even fit in my clothes anymore. Do yourself a favor, come down here as fast as you can and try this. It might ruin dessert for you though, because nothing will ever be as good as this. Yeah, that's it, that's all I've got. I'm gonna put my buttery hand on the camera to close this one out. Guys, if you like this video, drop us a thumbs up down below. If you're into watching some travel, some food, some adventure content about Southeast Asia and maybe beyond one day, hit subscribe. And yeah, tomorrow we're going to Jakarta, so we'll see you there.